What to do if someone is following you? Survival tips. There might come a time when you're walking or driving home and you notice someone is following you. In this kind of situation, you might panic. But in times like this, it is important to get hold of yourself. Ultimately though, there are many things you can do to protect yourself from being hurt or robbed by someone who is following you. By figuring out if someone is actually following you, you can take steps to lose the person in a crowd and act thoughtfully to prevent injury to yourself. Here are a few things you can do if you are being followed. Don't panic. Don't panic or start running or crying or trembling because it can lead to more serious problems for you. Like your stalker can think you are afraid of them and can take advantage of the situation. Instead, keep calm and observe your surroundings carefully. Develop situational awareness to notice if you are being watched or followed. Start by being aware of your environment and accurately assessing others' intentions. Showing confidence and having good situational awareness will reduce your level of anxiety and will help you feel safer. Do not let yourself get boxed in. Do not go into a dead-end street or a parking lot or anywhere else where you will not have an escape route or where you will be alone. Mix things up. People make wrong turns all the time, but it's rare for two people to make the same wrong turn at the same time. You can confirm that the person is actually following you by taking turns around a building completing a square. If you can still see the person, you know you are actually being followed. Why would someone move round and round around the building? Because he is actually following you. Now that you have confirmed that you are being followed, never ever directly rush towards your home. Instead, turn away from your destination. You can start walking back in the opposite direction. You can also start to stare at them directly and that might confuse them because stalkers don't like it when they are being confronted. Stop frequently in unexpected places. If crossing streets and turning doesn't lose the person, you might be able to lose them by stopping several times at places the person wouldn't expect you to stop. Avoid the route you'd normally take home and make your trip home as complicated as possible. You can stop to get a cup of coffee or a soft drink somewhere, visit a friend who's working, run an errand at a major retail store. Change your patterns regularly. Don't go straight home, especially if you're worried the person following you intends to harm you. Take a different route home from work than you did yesterday. Go to a restaurant you have never been to. If you think someone's been following you, they are probably already aware of your patterns, so suddenly taking the freeway home when you normally take side streets may throw them off. Go somewhere public. Go somewhere public with tons of people. Find a crowded restaurant and grab a seat. Order a coffee and read something on your phone. Head into the nearest shopping mall or large crowded store. This gives you two benefits. First, you have the cover of a lot of people. Second, you can observe your observer, get their description and hand it over to the police. Or else, you can get somewhere with cameras, look directly into the camera. Identify your stalker while sitting in a public place. You can get a look at the person who is following you. If possible, take a picture and send it to your friends and family just as a safe sign. Call the police. Do this as soon as possible if you think you are in any kind of real danger. This is the best thing to do. Call 911 or your local police station number and let them know your location and the situation. Contact friends or family. Call or text friends or family who may be nearby. Tell them your location. Ask your friends to meet you in a public area, like on the street in a bar or in a restaurant. Request that a friend picks you up in a public location as soon as possible. Even if you don't have access to a personal safety service, 
you can still use your phone. Call a friend or a family member, tell them where you are, and stay on the phone with them until you feel comfortable. With luck, you'll never need to worry that someone is following you, but it's important to be able to tell if someone is, why they are following you, and how to avoid, deter, or lose them. If the person following you means you harm, that's a very dangerous game you're playing. You should be focused on getting to a safe place, keeping your heads and wits about you. I hope this video was of great help. Stay safe. Bye-bye.